that's pretty proper. Never, that's pretty outstanding. Y'all sit, please. Okay, I'm going to just sit here and talk with you just a second. Uh, special day in West Virginia. Unbelievable, you know, when a governor gets to a point, a Supreme Court judge. And uh, especially somebody that they've known for a long, long, long time. I'm glad you didn't put a number. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in fact, if John were to remember, you know, I was right behind him and we were scrimmaging on the armory floor and and uh, and at Woodrow Wilson and I don't have any idea how this happened but the next thing that I knew we had collided heads and I ended up with a broken nose you know and John just wheeled around real fast and BAM we just hit I always held that against him <laughs> but, but uh, that was one of my many brain injuries. <laughs> well, he's a lifelong friend. He's been an incredible judge, elected over and over and over here, and done phenomenal work in Raleigh County and all across our state. You know, I, I, they gave me some notes of things that I didn't know that... Uh, that John started the teen court and the truancy court here in Raleigh County and received the Just for Kids Advocacy uh, Center of Champion for Children Award. And you know, there's so much about John that uh, is really interesting stuff. I mean, you know, he's a good man. Our Supreme Court needs a judge on it. You know, our Supreme Court needs another person that is conservative in his thinking, independent with real wisdom. There's all kinds of people. There's all kinds of people that have been calling me, you know, about John, which I love because, you know, he helped, you know, and basically gave the address to put me in office. You know, as I was sworn in, this was the fellow that I picked to do the honor. Now, again, we are blessed to have people like John Hutchinson, you know, in our midst and have served this great state forever and ever. Nobody in the world could be more of an advocate of him than I. And nobody could feel more honored to place him on the Supreme Court and have the right and the ability to be able to do that as an appointment. Now we've had a dog's mess with our Supreme Court and we lost a lot of credibility and really and truly it was an embarrassment across the nation. And John is a guy, along with other appointments that I've made that are there, and along with the people that are there that I hope in every way are going to restore dignity and the greatness to that court of just what West Virginia is all about. I feel it as confidently as I can possibly feel it. Now, I can't see very well, but I'm also going to read a couple of notes from our Senate Judiciary Chairman, Charlie Trump. He said, I've known Judge Hutchinson for a couple of decades. We've all known John for a couple of decades. He's 100,000 years old. <laughs> and he is very knowledgeable in the law and cares deeply about the responsibilities of the, of the judiciary to the citizens of this state. As a circuit court judge, he brings with him a wealth of knowledge and experience in the administration of justice in the lower courts to the state. I am confident that he will work very hard to restore public trust in our Supreme Court. Now that's from Charlie S. Trump. From the House side, the House Judiciary Chairman, John Schott, writes this. During his service on the bench, Judge Hutchinson has proven that he has an, a, the ideal judicial temperament, consisting, consistently demonstrating decisiveness, patience, courtesy, and open-mindedness, along with passion 
and commitment to equal justice. justice. I am supremely confident he will serve our state well on the Supreme Court of Appeals. You know, if I could refer to him as many of y'all fondly do, Hutch. Hutch, look out here. Just look. Look at people that are your friends. Look at people that love you. And really, I know you'll do the greatest job, and I'm so proud, so proud. You know, you, you don't officially, but you unofficially have our new Supreme Court Justice. Justice Hutchinson. Okay, these are the these are the copies, Brother John, for you and your family. But it's official. I'm gonna give you the pen too. Thank you very much. I'll add it to my collection. I have the one that you used in January 2017. I've got it saved and thank you so much. Those will probably be worth like like twelve dollars someday. <laughs> Could happen. More than that to me. Okay, right. very good. Sign that. I'll sign them all. Okay. And you've got more pins. I appreciate you. All right. Okay. Like I said, our new justice. Thank you. Governor, thank you. 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 I am unbelievably humbled by the recommendation of the commission, more so that my friend, uh, the governor of the state of West Virginia, would feel like that I could do this job. I believe I can. And for those folks that might think that I got this job because I'm your friend, I know this governor well enough to know that I wouldn't have gotten this job had he not believed that I could do it. And uh, I am so thankful to the citizens of Raleigh County who have elected me consistently since 1996. And I hope to take the trust that the citizens of Raleigh County have given me and take that statewide. I want to do the best job that I can for the state I believe that I can be helpful in calming things down, down in Charleston, and it's going to take a united effort, and, but I believe I have the skill set to deal with the folks down there and come up with a, um, a new and rejuvenated judiciary in the state of West Virginia. Um, we have been through some bad stuff, and it has affected everybody that works in this system, and we've got to now put that behind us. We now have five justices down there, and uh, in two years, there are going to be three of us running for, I guess, there are going to be, I hear that there are going to be three, at least two, uh, 
Justice Workman spots open, Justice Armstead spots open, and I would have to run, and I am going to run, and I'm going to need the help of everybody in Raleigh County and throughout the state uh, to take me on so that I can complete this. But I thank the governor. It is truly an honor to have my friend do this for me. So I thank you. questions, any questions that you all may have. I'd comment just this, and I'd say, you know, John is a friend, but I've always looked at my job as one way. I'll do my job. I'll do what's right. That's all there is to it. At the end of the day, I'll do my job. You see, I came along with the, with the idea in mind that I don't want a thing. I never wanted a thing for being your governor. And if I didn't think this was the right man, beyond a shadow of a doubt, there's no way I'd select him. He is the right man. And you all know it. So he'll do a wonderful job. I'm really proud to be, to be able to make that selection. Okay. Anybody, any questions you may have, we'll give it our best. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. We're done. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you all for Thank coming. You.